Hey everyone, I just wanted to shoot a quick video at the weirdest angle here, but, and don't just ignore that paint behind me. I couldn't reach it, so I am continuing that eventually. But I looked at my chandelier here in the kitchen, uh, well, my aka the craft area. Now I'm starting to take off the little cups. I want to change it up a bit without changing it really physically, like lifting it and cutting it off and doing all that fun stuff. The nice thing about these is that they just unscrew and inside there's like a little ring and you just unscrew that ring. The cup thing comes right off. Okay, so I've got two hula hoops. They're just from the dollar store. They're actually really quite small. I don't know the exact measurement, but I do know that it's going to fit around the chandelier part. And the thing is they come undone. I've taken off the plastic and I've got rid of all those little shaky bead things from the inside. So now what I want to do is I got these actually from the, it was the dollar store. They're supposed to be um, like a tomato cage. So these rods were quite long. And what I did with Mark has this little tiny saw. It's like almost like a little hacksaw, I'm going to call it. And I just kind of sawed the end and then just kind of broke it back and forth and back and forth until they split. So what I want to do is take my drill. First of all, sorry, side note, I'm going to cover the ends with some tape. Now the tape doesn't have to be nice looking. I just want to cover up the hole so the hot glue doesn't seep down inside the little hole. See that? So once the holes are down inside there, it's essentially going to be like a kind of like a cage, a ring cage to go over top of my existing chandelier. This could be a complete flop, not gonna lie, but you know what? It doesn't cost me much to do this, which I kind of like doing these kinds of crafts that if they flop, then you're not upset about it. But if they're a hit, then you're kind of stoked. Anyways, so let's get started here. Line them up like so, so both of the ends. So this way, if I'm very careful with the, if I get quite a bit of hot glue in there and I can kind of open them up if I need to by any chance open them and kind of slip them around the chandelier up there but I'm pretty sure they fit without I'll have to do like a top part here too and hold them once I've done a top part to attach it to the top of the chandelier yeah so let's get started so I've made no plans for this I'm just kind of winging it all right I feel like that's all I need I'm just gonna save this in my craft stash for something else what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carefully move this out of the way and kind of mark on this side because this is where I'm going to be drilling. I don't need to go all the way through. I just want to kind of put it inside so it sticks on like the bottom part of the little hoop. So that should be good. I'll just move these out of the way. I will tape those in a minute and I'll show you what I'm sure you know what I mean with that. But just in case you don't. So I just want to use something that... It actually fits right inside. Not that it needs to fit inside, but I just figure it'd be easier. So I know that it's, I can kind of squish it in and it'd be a little bit tight. Maybe, maybe. Ooh. Hey, 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 hey. Now we're talking. Look at that. That'll work better. Oh, perfect. Oh. So with some hot glue, I will just hold it up straight so it doesn't go wonky because you don't want it. If it's wonky, then the whole thing will be wonky, but I think this should work. Okay, so all I'm doing here is just with a piece of painter's tape, go to one side and then just wrapping it tight. And then hopefully dry fit first before I, ah, oh, yeah. All right, glue, get in there. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to hold it. Okay. So I feel like this is going to work, but I need to tape up the rest first. So let me do that. See? So what I ended up having to do here was turn them kind of inside out if you're going to look at it that way. Um, mark where the holes are going to go and then f do the holes and then flip them back inside, right? So what I'm doing here now is I'm just measuring how tall it is. So that's approximately, you know, they say nine and a half. So I want it to give it an inch on either side. So when it's all said and done, I can just kind of wrap it around. 
What I'm going to actually do is probably go to 13 just to be on the safe side. So I actually have some drop cloth that I am going to give a whirl to see if that works. I don't know if I'm going to do strips yet. I might spray paint this. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but I'm definitely going to cut a 13 inch strip from the drop cloth that I have for the entire circumference of this circle. So for this part, you want to make sure that the canvas is quite tight, um, not crazy tight that you're bending the hula hoop, but quite tight that it stays firm um, so you don't see any wrinkles or lines. And I am just kind of bit by bit hot gluing underneath the actual hoop and just kind of stretching it and holding it and keep going until it's finished. part what I'm doing is I am just gluing the edges and I'm trying to make it so as neat as possible so you can't see it when the lights on you can't see the glue shining through um, yeah so once you're done that what you will want to do is I just kind of go side to side to make it even Now at the end, I'm taking the clamps off and I am folding it over to kind of make like a neat seam. So now this step, I'm just trimming away any excess, getting it ready to hang. I really tried to rack my brain to figure out how I was going to actually hang this kind of suspend it. So what I did is actually grabbed some, again from the dollar store, grabbed some thin chain. I'm sure you could probably use any chain and I just kind of hooked it into the existing poles that I had originally glued into the hula hoop and just hung it from the chain that was there. There you go, you guys, all done. Now, I really hope this inspires you to do something like this a few years from now. If you wanna put the glass light things back on, you can, nothing's permanent. And you know what? It didn't cost a lot of money to do. And honestly, the painting was very therapeutic. Even if you don't know how to paint, you just do like shapes and designs and swirls and be creative, do it. Have fun though. Okay, talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, bye.
Huh? <laughs>